Hi everyone, <laughs> Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Hellfire Club compilation, Dorner vs. Tookie. First, before we get into this thing, I want to address uh, something people have been asking me about. A lot of people have been asking me where Couch Your Chest is at, why isn't he appearing in any of the new videos, and it's mostly because right now he's working on his list. Uh, Hellfire Club is a fast-growing rap label and collective that's been making quite a bit of noise in this new age of the very internet-savvy hip-hop underground. You may already be familiar with some of the names on their roster, like Open My Eagle, and Milo, and of course Bus Driver. And over the past year or so, the label has been growing quite a bit, thanks to rapper and label founder No Can Do. And he has invited these guys, as well as Kale, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Verbs, as well as Rhetoric Ramirez and The Cleaners onto this new compilation. And it's a pretty long compilation too, standing at 17 tracks. There are moments where songs are handled by one single rapper. Sometimes Hellfire Club gets together as a group and just totally posses a whole track. Some of the songs on this thing are brand new, were made specifically for this compilation it seems. Others were recently released. It's all just kind of being layered on top of one another on this thing just to sort of showcase Hellfire Club's talents, their abilities, their personality. Right now in hip hop, rap clicks are kind of back in fashion with Odd Future and Pro Era, as well as Good Music, MMG, Black Hippie 2, even though they haven't dropped a tape together and I wish they would. And even though their, their very loose collective of artists on the surface might not seem like they have a whole ton to offer outside of just a nerdy point of view over a rap beat, Coming together on this compilation, I think, shows that Hellfire Club has a lot to bring to the table. Because on this thing, you have a lot of progressive instrumentals, as well as trap rap inspired beats, but also have some odd samples or grooves or characteristics to them. And you're getting all these smarty pants rhymes on top of them, which usually are not paired with just straight up bangers. But it's not like, you know, you're getting raps about E equals MC squared or anything like that. And there is definitely variety among the personalities on this Hellfire Club compilation. You've got guys like Bus Driver and Open Mike Eagle who are usually pretty wordy, clever, very referential toward highfalutin things, as well as hilarious as well. And then you've got No Can Do and Rhetoric Ramirez definitely on the grimier and just more blunt end of the spectrum on this thing. There are tracks on this thing that while they're loud and they bang, they have a lot of personality too. Fabian Cortez, Fuck the Night Stalker, Elephant in the Press Room, as well as Give a Fuck, DVT2, and Pet Alligators, a song with Bus Driver and No Can Do, which I believe is actually linked to a previous effort. And the production is just so heavy, and there's some killer samples in the midst of these tracks, too. The song Elephant in the Press Room with these really whimsical guitars and sour piano chords. DVT has these really fiendish melodies over its chorus that sort of remind me of like a old timey villain film. And the song Pet Alligators takes some of that trap influence, the heaviness, some of the hi-hats, and fuses it with some samples of what sounds kind of like synth funk and, and wonky, and there's a really smooth bass line on this track too that I love. And there's some really catchy choruses on this thing too, like DVT, where essentially all of these horrible occurrences that have happened recently are being mentioned while you've kind of got this repeated line of too soon, like it's too soon to mention it, as well as moments like 10,000 haters, we the waviest. Songs like this topically and lyrically are a little all over the place simply because I feel like Hellfire Club is just trying to come forward and just make the most hardcore hitting sound and song that they possibly can. But there are tracks on here that are a little more toned down, a little bit more focused, like Degrassi Picture Day, which is an open mic eagle song and a hilarious one at that amazing concept which sort of brings together all of the members of Hellfire and Open Mike Eagle is essentially using Picture Day as, as a metaphor 
for this, talking about all of these various things like having money for the pictures and coming home with an envelope from Life Touch. Open Mic Eagle is just consistently clever and interesting. There's a moment on here where he gets pretty personal, like on the song Apologies. All of these moments where he's saying sorry for mistreating his friends and citing these specific occurrences where he's done something to wrong them, at least in his eyes. And the song Qualifiers too, another Open Mic Eagle track, an interesting one too, but uh, I can't say I'm that into the singing on this one. It's a great instrumental, but again, just could use a different vocal take on the singing. But singing is consistently not really the strongest point that this mixtape has to offer, because it's not like Open Mic Eagle is the only guy singing. There is Bus Driver on this record singing on numerous occasions as well, which... Uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I did not like Bus Driver singing on his solo records. I don't really care for Bus Driver singing on his featured spots when he lands on someone else's track, and I don't feel like it works well on this compilation either. I mean, really, sometimes it feels like the singing here has uh, nearly a complete disregard for pitch pitch accuracy. Bus driver singing on this thing ruins some tracks, and when it doesn't ruin them, it makes me like them a little bit less. But thankfully, Bus Driver is doing more rapping than he is singing on this comp. I actually think in terms of rapping, he is the most featured MC on this entire mixtape, and whenever he hops on the mic to spit, his rhymes are always fast-flowing, intense, and eccentric. Like on the Terra Mellos remix here that he does with Milo, who hops on this tape a few times. And I think my favorite track with Bus Driver on is uh, actually Barb's Over Breakfast. Like I said earlier, there are some recycled cuts off of this thing, like a moment from Milo's latest mixtape. I actually would have loved to have heard him hop on this thing with a few more verses. The few moments that I did hear him on this thing, he was using a flow that Open Mike Eagle actually used on one of the tracks here, and there was another flow he used that actually reminded me of Kimmy Dawson in an interesting way. Even though I might have been looking for a little bit more from the artists that I was already familiar with, for the most part I was pleasantly surprised by the people I was less familiar with. Like the Rhetoric Ramirez song on here, Fuck the Night Stalker, I think is one of the catchiest and most zany tracks on this entire thing. And the cleaner song, Big Business, toward the back end of this thing I thought was really good too. A very eerie story being told on this one. I think the only track that I didn't end up digging from a person I wasn't familiar with was the Kale track, We On, a song that I guess I wasn't crazy about because of the instrumental. I thought the bass line was maybe a little too noisy, a little too sloppy. And I thought the hook on this track was a little redundant, kind of clunky too. Still, despite that, with how many people were coming together onto this mixtape, uh, there was a lot of opportunity for things to just completely get out of hand and not really line up and not sound consistent and, and not be complimentary, but this thing actually ended up sounding pretty solid. I think this is a really good compilation. It has me excited and looking forward to whatever Hellfire is doing next. I'm feeling a light seven on this thing. Transition. If you've given this compilation a listen, what did you think of it? Love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Hellfire Club, forever.